hello all welcome to tech capture so in this video we are going to create a loop agent so we started with the types of agent and in our previous video we talk about workflow agent where we created the job assistant agent using the sequential agent then we created the content creator agent agent using the parallel agent and this is the third type of agent in the workflow agent where we will create a loop agent so in this video we are going to implement one more use case so where we will create one architecture design agent where it will design a cloud architecture but it will run in a loop so there will be a one loop agent which will have three sub agent that will run in a loop so how this will work so whenever i ask okay i need to design architecture for my web application then it will go to my, my first sub agent which will give me the uh, services to be used uh, what is the best practices to be used uh, best practices for security whole overall the architecture design uh, based on the cloud and the requirement it will give then once the architecture is created it will store in a state in a kind of the memory and then it will go to the sub second sub agent then second sub agent will review this architecture so for the review also we have given some best practices what to review what things we need to refine so based on that it will give the feedback so this feedback and this architecture then shared with the third sub agent which is the refiner and this refiner then will make changes and again go to the original design architecture sub agent so this loop will keep going until there is no feedback from the review sub agent or we can set up the max iteration so by default we can set let's say max iteration of two or three that okay two or three times it should review and then it should create the final architecture and then after the loop is completed it will go to the output using the final design or well crafted architecture okay so this is the overall idea overall architecture using the multi agent system so i'll just go to the vs code and then we'll have a look at the code and we'll try running our this loop agent multi agent system using the loop agent now in my vs code so here you can see the first time creating sequential agent because it should start the loop so first will be my initial writer agent okay and then there will be a refinement loop as we discussed in the diagram so this sequential agent is having two sub agents which will run in a sequence that is the initial writer agent and then it will call a refinement loop so what is the refinement loop so you can see the refinement loop is having two agent the critic agent and the refiner agent so critic agent is nothing but our architecture review it will review the architecture and it will provide the feedback based on the feedback a refiner will refine the architecture okay so let's see what critic agent is doing and what architecture agent is doing okay so first i will take at the initial writer which will create architecture so you are a cloud architect based only on the user's requirement draft initial cloud architecture the output must include the key component services deployment topology security cost okay so it will use these points to create architecture then our critic agent we have given the specific requirement evaluate the architecture and mention okay only google cloud services needs to be used if you find any aws or azure services it should provide a feedback and then the refiner should based on that feedback let's say i'll go back again so let's say this initial architecture storing the architect in this state so we are discussing more about the state set is nothing but your like kind of memory where we can store the data not actual the data but the uh, the output of the agent so it will store in the uh, state current doc state okay and this will use this state current doc uh, doc state current doc state and it will provide the feedback and then feedback will be shared in the criticism state and now your refiner will use both the feedback and your architecture and it will refine your architecture okay so this is the whole process of loop it is going on so let's see how it works so i'll just create i'll just run my agent okay agent is started just open it in a tab okay now here we will select only our uh, cloud architecture agent okay now it will go to the each of the agent now this is the initial cloud architecture from our first agent i will show you here 
okay so this is the initial writer agent and now it will create the go to the critic agent let's say what critic agent is saying so it is waiting okay now critic agent had some feedback the document uses aws services the compute option should be more specific for message queue there should be a web server or cloud task so this all feedback is given you can see from the critic now it will go to the refiner a refiner has given the new architecture now you can see yeah refiner has given the new architecture it will again go to the critic agent if no feedback found then it will create again there is one feedback it is missing auto scaling detail so it will again go back to the critic critic will again refine the response critic will send the feedback and refiner is currently refining the response you can see yeah so now this is from the refiner and refiner has given the response okay now again this agent the critic one again evaluating the architecture okay so still it is refining now based on the feedback so this is the feedback again we got so till there is uh, the architecture is completely fine there is no feedback there is no issue it will keep going into the loop okay and till how much iteration so we also given some iteration to avoid the infinite loop so you can see the max iteration for you so it can go max for five times okay so it is creating taking all the things considering all the uh, cost factor disaster recovery monitoring and alerting so every time it creates a design again it will call your critic critic will give the feedback and then feedback will go to the refiner and refiner will create the answer or the architecture now this is now it seems a good architecture let's see see now the critic is satisfied and it mentioned okay i do not found any issues so here our loop will end and we'll get the final well crafted architecture design okay it called exit loop now because no major issues found so the loop will end here it called the exit loop and now we will get the finer architecture okay so it called exit loop so this is our a uh, final architecture because if no issues found from the critic agent then it called exit loop and this is our final answer so now you can see the architecture for the 3 tier web application you can use computer engine cloud sql cloud storage cloud cdn cloud armor iam secret manager cloud dns so again the deployment topology it has given the primary secondary security consideration cloud armor iam secret manager cost layers it has given the compute engine cloud sql ha it also given the high availability features monitoring alerting so it given a perfect architecture for our requirement so hope now we understood how loop agent works so this was our third demo for the workflow agent initially we saw sequential then the parallel agent and this was the third type which is our loop agent so this is just the web ui as i discussed in earlier videos also and your adk just provide the back end so you can create a customized front end where you can get the request and response you can check my previous videos where i shown how we can use the custom front end to get the request i mean send the request and get the response from the agent okay so that's it for this video and we'll see you again in the further videos